Hello friend, today we are going to discuss ethical hacking course part 7, exploiting vulnerabilities. In this video we are going to discuss following topics, installing and configuring Metasploit, Metasploit table, mastering Armitage, the graphical management tool of Metasploit, mastering the Metasploit console, we are also called MSF console, mastering the Metasploit CLI, we also call MSF CLI and mastering Metaplater. So first introduction, once we have completed our vulnerability scanning step, we now have the knowledge necessary to attempt to launch exploit again our target system. In this session we will examine using various tools include Swiss Army Knife to testing the system which is also called Metasploit. So first installing and configuring Metasploit table. In this session we will install configure and start Metasploit table 2. Metasploit table is a Linux based operating system that is vulnerable for various Metasploit attacks. It was designed by Rapid7. So let's start with downloading Metasploit table. I already downloaded from from following link. You can see here. Save the file to a location on your PC hard drive. Unzip the file and follow my steps. Here I already unzipped that file and you can see different type of files here. We use .vmx file. First go to file, open and then locate to Metasploit table folder and uh, locate this file and click to open. And you can see here different settings. You can also change that setting according to your need. I just power on this virtual machine. And you can see the Metasploit table login screen here. Just type username as a MSF admin and password is same. And you can see here. You can also switch to graphical mode using start x command. We have to delete some temporary file. So remove slash tmp dot capital X zero o lock and press enter sorry use sudo and remove password msf admin and delete it now again run start x and here you can see right click on desktop for different menus you can also exit from graphical mode so that is Metasploit table. Now move to next topic, Mastering Armitage, the graphical management tool for Metasploit. The newer version of Metasploit utilizes graphical front end tool called Armitage. Understanding of Armitage is important because it ultimately makes, makes our use for Metasploit easier by providing information to you visually. It encompasses the Metasploit console and by using it tabbing capability allow you to see more than one Metasploit console or Metapreter session at a time. So you can also start Armitage from application, Kali Linux exploitation, network exploitation and Armitage or you can simply by typing Armitage in terminal. But before you launch Armitage we need to start some services so we start that service postgresql start it's a database service now service metasploit start and it start our metasploit service now run armitage and just click on the connect button you may see the following notification window do not be alarmed it will go away once armitage is able to connect it may take a while to connect Armitage to Metasploit. After a connecting, you are then present with Armitage main screen. And you can see here Armitage main screen. We will now discuss following three reasons on main screen. Mix as a A, B and C here. A. This region display a pre-configured module you can see here 
you can search for module using the space provided below here next is region B this region display your active target that we able to run or exploit again and region C this region display multiple metasploit tab allowing for multiple metapeter or console session to be run and displayed simultaneously you can see one tab here and you can al also start different tab you can also see different exploit here so that's all about Armitage now we move to next topic mastering the metasploit console it's called MSF console in this receipt we will examine the metasploit console the uh, MSF console is primary used to met manage the metasploit database manage sessions configure and launching met metasploit modules essentially for the purpose of exploitation the msf console will get you connect to a host so that you can launch your exploit against it some common commands you will use then interacting with the consoles are help use module set option name module exploit run search module and exit so first of all we launch msf console by typing msf console in terminal and you can see here msf console you can type help command for help and you can see here the different command you can use inside msf console we can also search for all available modules by typing search command first uh, we are going to search module for linux so type search and linux it is always good idea to search for our module each time we want to perform an action the major reason for this is that between various version of metasploit the part to the module may have changed so you can use this command for locating your module and you can see here different modules and its path you can also type use command to use different modules from list just uh, type use and copy that path and paste it enter and you can see here how can we work with msf console you can type here show options command for different options you can also type here show payload different payload that you can use with that uh, module and you can also type back command now next topic is mastering the metasploit cli we also call msf cli in this session we will explore the metasploit cli metasploit require the rule the use of interface in order to perform its task the msf cli is such an interface it is a good interface for learning metasploit or testing writing a new exploit it also serves well in the case of using script and applying basic automation to the task one major issue with using msf cli is that you can only open one cell at a time you will also notice that as we are exploring uh, some of our command it functions a bit slower and is a little more complicated than msf console we can launch msf cli by typing msf cli in terminal Mm, it may take some time to load so I just pause this video and come back by typing MSF CLI this loads a list of available exploit accessible to MSF CLI you can see a list of exploits to display MSF CLI help type MSF CLI dash H command for help and you can see here for our demonstration we will perform the Christmas tree scan we will choose option A to display the module advanced option so MSF CLI auxiliary scanner port scan X mark space A and press enter and initializing module start additionally you can list a summary of the current module by using the S mode the summary mode is great way to see all of the option available to you for exploit that you are trying to run many of the options are optional but usually a few are required with 
allow you to set the target or the port you are trying to launch the exploit again. To show a list of options available for this exploit, we use O mode. Options are a way to configure the exploit module. Each exploit module has different sets of options. All required options must be set before the exploit is allowed to execute. From the following screenshot, you will notice that many of the required options are set by default. If it is the case, you do not have to update the options value unless you want to change it. To execute our exploit, we use E mode. It's important to know that the Metasploit framework is divided into three distinct parts. Those parts are vulnerabilities, exploits and payloads. Vulnerabilities first. These are weaknesses both known and unknown that are con contained again a particular application, software package or a protocol. In Metasploit, vulnerabilities are listed as group. Next is exploit. Exploit are modules that are set up to be able to take advantage of vulnerability found. Next is payload. Once the exploit has successfully run, the payload must be delivered to attacked machine in order to allow us to create a cell, run various commands and add users and so on. We will discuss matter better session in next video. Please give your feedback and thanks for watching this video. Thank you so much.